In this video, you will learn about Perch, which is a FBA business aggregator. They are acquiring Amazon brands in Europe, in US, and basically in the whole world. So if you would like to sell your business, Amazon business to Perch, you will find the links and contacts below in the description of this video. Also, don't forget to mention Orange Click if you contact them. And now I invite you to listen to our conversation with Rahul, who is uh, representing Perch, and he will give you uh, more detailed information about this company and why you should trust them. And if you like the content we do, don't forget to click the like button below this video and subscribe to our channel. Hello Rahul, uh, it's nice to have you here. Could you please introduce yourself and tell us what you do? Hey, hey Augustus, uh, good, good, good afternoon. Um, sure, I'm happy to introduce myself and introduce Juice Perch, and I'm really excited to, uh, to be here talking with you today. Um, so a little bit uh, about me, I've been kind of living and breathing um, Amazon and Amazon FBA for many years. I've spent most of my career um, working with, with FBA and then as a seller myself. And now I lead uh, the acquisitions team for, for Perch, which is one of the largest FBA aggregators in the space. I lead their acquisitions team in, in Europe. And uh, to keep things very simple, my, my main job is um, really building Perch as the most trusted first you know, point of call for uh, sellers in Europe when they're thinking about selling their business. Great. So uh, I know that you have uh, prepared some uh, slides presentation about Perch. So I'm eager to see it and let's get to know more about the company. As you know, um, and I think some of your, many of your viewers will know too, there's been a massive growth in, in, in what are called FBA aggregators. So I, what I'm going to do today is talk a little bit about, uh, talk a little bit about Perch and how we're different and what we do and how we're thinking about our future and how we think about our relationships with, with sellers and, and our acquisitions. So really what, what we're doing at Perch is we're building a platform of consumer brands for the long term. And we believe very strongly that the future of retail and the future of e-commerce is in micro brands. And many of these micro brands are found on Amazon, whether that's .com or .de or .co.uk. And if you think about the, the volume of traffic that some of these, these brands are, are receiving on, on marketplace platforms, especially on Amazon, we think that there's massive potential and, and in the future, there will be uh, really a proliferation of, of, of micro brands for each and every search query and for each and everything that customers, customers want. Uh, so we're very focused on acquiring and building a platform of consumer brands. So far, you know, we're one of the leading aggregators for Amazon FBA brands. We're headquartered in the US, but are very focused on, on Europe and the rest of the world. We've acquired over 70 brands in a, in a, in a relatively short time of, of about 19 months. And we love buying businesses. We love talking to sellers. And our objective is really to be custodians of these brands once we, once we acquire them and take them over. Our objective is to hold on to brands forever, grow them and you know, make them into truly you know, house, household names for the future. We're not looking to, to flip brands and, 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 and sell them onwards. So in, you know, I mentioned that we've been doing this since 2019. So in this space, that really makes us very, very experienced. Um, and our, our e-commerce abilities, our differentiation has been recognized by some of the biggest and you know, most important investors in the world. So SoftBank, which is the leading uh, technology investor in the world, and Spark Capital, which is actually one of the leading e-commerce investors in the world, have entrusted us with, um, with some of their capital to continue to grow our business. So we're very, very proud of that. And that, you know, that makes my, my job of acquiring um, FBA brands much, much easier. Um, because you know they've, they've given us the responsibility of, of allocating this capital to excellent brands from from all over the world. So we're here to you know help build the Amazon ecosystem to help support sellers achieve achieve their goals, whether that's you know growing their business alongside um, alongside an aggregator or whether that's just exiting and you know getting an opportunity to spend some time working on a passion pro project or you know spend some time in the sunshine. Uh, my favorite story is is one of our uh, one of our European uh, sellers who actually sold their business to, to Perch, you know, now has, 
uh, now has an avocado farm in, in Spain. So I think, you know, what's amazing about this, this space is that there are, um, in the past, there hasn't, hasn't been, you know, a lot of liquidity and a lot of opportunities for exits. But now entrepreneurs who've been working so hard and are so resourceful in building out their businesses on Amazon have the opportunity to kind of go to the next level, whether, you know, whatever that may be for them. And it's a very personal thing. And uh, we're, we're happy to, to support that, obviously, with, with the strength of, uh, of our investors behind us. A little bit uh, about me. So, you know, my, my story is that I've spent uh, a lot of time working at Amazon. So I've seen Amazon from, uh, from both sides, actually. So I've, I, I used to uh, run a business uh, for Amazon in Europe based in London called Global Selling, which are, and this was when selling internationally was just starting up uh, for Amazon. And this was an opportunity for, uh, to, to, to buy into this, this vision, which I think we now somewhat you know, take for granted, which is that a seller anywhere in the world can sell to a customer anywhere in the world. And that's what I was doing at Amazon and building up that, 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 that business for them for a few years um, in, in, in London. And we were very focused on uh, the European seller base out of the UK and out of Germany. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm very happy to see how the FBA space has, has, has evolved. And I was so inspired when I was working at Amazon. I was so inspired by these entrepreneurs who are so resourceful and so hardworking and uh, so successful that I decided to quit my job at Amazon and actually uh, become a seller myself. So my, um, my wife and I launched a selling business in the women's health category. And that's what I've been you know, doing for the last few years uh, until, until I joined Perch. So you know, at Perch, we really understand, or I, I really understand the, the emotional roller coaster that is Amazon selling. So I, you know, I've been up, at, up in the middle of the night trying to get an answer from seller support and I've also had, so, you know, the, and that can sometimes be quite frustrating. And it, as I'm sure many of your, your, your uh, viewers will, will, will be able to relate to, but at the same time, I've had the euphoria of what an amazing Prime Day or an amazing Black Friday um, sale. So I, I, I really, you know, we really understand sellers at Birch and I, um, and for me, it's really important that their experiences kind of resonate with mine, because I think ultimately in this ecosystem, we're all trying to help each other out. And it's, it's still quite nascent and it's very early um, for, for, for all of us. Uh, my job today is, you know, leading our acquisitions team in Europe when we're building out uh, a major focus. We've acquired sellers in, in, in Europe in the past, but we're, we're building out a team in London to be focused on the UK market, German market, uh, sellers from all over Europe. And that's, you know, to keep things simple, my job is to make Perch the most trustworthy acquirer in Europe and the first aggregator that Amazon sellers who are thinking about their future uh, would call. And, and that's what I do today. And we have, um, you know, big plans for, for Europe and growing our, uh, our acquisition engine there. So let me talk a little bit about how Perch is, is different in this space. I think there are three ways in which we're quite different. One is we are, you know, real e-commerce people. I spent a lot of time at Amazon. Our uh, CEO and COO built out the Wayfair delivery network. So we, we understand e-commerce. We understand what it takes to be successful um, in, in e-commerce. We have a lot of supply chain expertise. So, um, you know, it's, 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 it's an amazing story of how our CEO actually built out Wayfair's delivery network from just a... Uh, a couple of, of, of warehouses in the US to almost 50 warehouses and actually you know, brought uh, delivery speeds down from one month to two days. And that, I think that, that ethos of the importance of supply chain in an e-commerce business has, has, has stayed with us. And so we have our own warehouse, we work with 3PLs, but we also have built our own uh, supply chain and our own uh, fulfillment network. Uh, we invest very heavily in our operations team and making sure that we're ready for the future of, 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 of e-commerce, which we think operations and operational efficiency plays a, a, a big role in. The, the second way I think we're different is how we think about growth. Uh, and we've grown the brands that we've acquired. So we think about growth by you know, channel expansion, taking brands uh, who are only on Amazon, taking them to you know, other, other channels, whether that's a Shopify site or whether that's walmart.com or whether that's even going into brick and mortar retail um, in the US, for example, at, at a place like Target or Walmart. 
I, I mentioned the supply chain efficiencies. We also use technology very actively to make sure that we're making the right decisions as far as PPC goes and as, 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 as far as how we, how we manage brands at scale. It, you know, for, for anyone who's managed um, you know, 100 plus SKUs, things start to get quite complicated and, and having the right kind of technology platform behind you is critical. So we've invested very heavily in building out a technology platform and in, in, and in hiring people who can build the tech to help us grow in the future. As I said, we want to hold brands for the, you know, for the rest of our, for the rest of our lives. And if we want to do that effectively and profitably, we need to do that with technology. So we've really embraced technology and our 30% of our team is, is in the, is in the technology team uh, of, of, of Birch. And then I think, you know, finally, just to, just to wrap up, I ultimately, you know, for us, this, ag this FBA aggregator business is about building trust. I've been a seller, so I understand that this is one of the most kind of emotional and probably one of the biggest decisions that sellers make in their, in their lives of whether to, whether to sell their business and whether to sell this thing that they've usually just you know, grown with their own two hands. And, and it can lead to you know, potentially life-changing monetary outcome, but potentially life-changing kind of lifestyle outcome as well. So, and we believe you know, sellers deserve the best kind of treatment as a result. So we're very, we believe we're very fair, we're, we're friendly, we're fast and effective. When we have a conversation, we get back to sellers as soon as we can. Um, I think you know, one statistic we like to talk about is that 92% of our, our transactions close within 30 days. And you know, that's something that, that we pride ourselves on. We also pride ourselves on being very transparent and providing solid feedback, whether we choose to acquire, whether or not, or whether we're just having an early conversation, we're very transparent about our, our, our business and our needs and very transparent about what we think uh, you know, we can do with the businesses that we, we evaluate to acquire. And you know, finally, I think that our sellers, 30% you know, of our acquisitions actually come from referrals. We've, um, we've had sellers who've come back and sold multiple businesses to us. Uh, we also recently acquired a business uh, which was, you know, an eighty million dollar revenue business in the U.S. And you know, I'll I'll, I'll leave the slide uh, on there because Adam has actually gotten very friendly with our team and really um, has become uh, an advocate for uh, and an evangelist for the work that that Birch does. Um, and you know, as as he, as he points out here, that it 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 was an extremely complex deal, but we made the process fair and transparent, and. Ultimately, I think that's what matters when you're a business owner and when you're an entrepreneur and have built something that you, you want to know that your brand is in the right hands and that you can sell your business to, to someone you can trust. And uh, that's my focus is on, on, on building trust with, uh, with the selling community in, in Europe. We have a, a strong reputation in the US and I'm looking forward to you know, being a custodian for, for European brands as well over the next a few months, years and forever. All right. Thank you very much, Rahul, uh, for this introduction to Perch. So as far as I understand, you are equally uh, interested in US and European brands. But um, can you tell me if you are, if the um, legal country of the company which is selling the brand, is it important? Let's say if it's a company from Singapore or Bulgaria want to uh, to be acquired by Perch, is it working for you? We're open to acquisitions from uh, companies incorporated in, in countries all around the world. Um, I, I mean, I think that that's something that that has not been um, uh, that has not been a concern in the past at all. Uh, you know, I've spoken to sellers personally in in Estonia. I've spoken to sellers in Peru. Um, obviously, you know, in North America, in Canada, in the U.S., and in Germany, and uh, France, Italy, Spain, and, and the UK. So really, you know, where our, our, our objective is to be a global, um, a global Amazon FBA aggregator. So we speak to sellers everywhere. There, there's, no, um, there, there's no country that we wouldn't buy, um, uh, buy brands from, assuming that, you know, they are able, those countries are, allow them to sell on Amazon. And uh, what categories are you specifically interested or not interested to acquire? Have you already maybe built up some portfolio towards specific categories? Or so actually, we are open to um, categories across 
across Amazon. So we have, um, you know, that there, there, there are certain sensitive categories that um, that we're actually not permitted to to acquire, and that you know comes from our, our our investor mandate. I think, you know, those are those are things like you know things like weapons, um, which which generally you know don't have a massive presence on 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 an Amazon necessarily. But other than that, you know, we're open to uh, we're open to everything, and I, um, we have had quite a bit of success with, for example, baby products with. Uh, health and health and wellness with uh, household products. So we're quite open to gardening, uh, quite open to the entire entire range of of products available um, on Amazon. And you know, every I, I, I mentioned earlier this the 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 large uh, transaction we did, which was an eighty million dollar revenue business, and they sell in I think over six or seven um, seven categories, all the way from art supplies to um, to kitchen equipment, so you know we're we're happy to to grow brands. Um, I think what we what we look for is we look for strong listings that are defensible and listings that we feel like we can um, we can help grow the business and take it to the next level. And I understood that you, as you said, you are focusing also off Amazon. So if there is a brand which already has some presence, maybe a Shopify own store or Walmart uh, product listings, it would be a really additional bonus for them in terms of evalu evaluation. Is it correct? It depends. Uh, I, it's, it's hard to say uh, specifically uh, as, a, as, as a rule, but yes, absolutely. We certainly value sellers that have a direct relationship with customers. We certainly value sellers that have um, channel expansion already. Um, but what we've seen is that a large share in, and, and, and things are things are obviously changing and, and some of the other platforms outside Amazon are evolving. But what we've seen is that for, for several of, of, of the largest sellers in this space, Amazon is the dominant uh, dominant channel uh, in, in the US, certainly in the Euro in Europe, less so. But that's something we're, we're completely open to. And we, um, you know, we speak to sellers. I'm working with a seller right now. On a transaction that is um, has a large distributor relationship across Europe for offline retail, and um, is also very successful on Amazon.de and Amazon.co.uk. All right. So any Amazon brand which uh, selling in Europe or in US or probably in even Asian marketplaces, they're welcome to contact you. Uh, the contact details we will publish below this video. And what's the process of uh, the first initial contact. So the people contact you via the via the email. You have a call, and then you evaluate within a few days. That's 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 exactly right. So we um, so we receive um, we, we receive requests from multiple uh, different channels. Of course, I mentioned referrals is 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 a massive one for us, and you know those those are those are tend to be sellers. Who are very excited to to work with us and understand how we work because they've come through their friends and this this the seller community. Uh, the second is we work through broker broker networks, so the likes of Empire Flippers. Um, you know that's that's one broker we work with quite closely. And then the third is when people reach out to us directly through our website, um, or you know they send me an email and I'm happy to to have a conversation with them. The typical process, I think, the most important question. That it needs to be asked in this process for the seller to ask themselves as well as for me to ask the seller is uh, is really why um, and what are you prioritizing in this sale and I think you know that's the single most important thing to think about because that really and that's the question I always ask first which is how can we help you achieve what you want to achieve and um, and that helps us leads to much better outcomes where we're both satisfied with the valuations we come up with the right structures that make sense. Um, so that's the typical process. We, we, gen we take about, you know, I'd say somewhere between three to three days to a week to get back with at least a, a, first, a first view on our business and, and, and have those conversations. All right, thank you very much, Rahul. So again, uh, everyone who is watching and if you want to sell your brand, check the links and contacts below of Rahul and Perch team. So thank you very much and good luck in your business. Bye bye. Now you know what is Perch and if you would like to sell your Amazon brand to this company, you will find all the links and contact details below in the description of this video. Don't forget to 
mention orange click when you contact them so that they know that you watched this video. And now I would like to invite you to watch other video where our guest Dano Falk is telling his experience of selling his Amazon brand and how to prepare your Amazon business to sell.